I mean, one of these things is that's supposed to happen when you are an artist because you're supposed to be comfortable, like super comfortable so that you can perform optimal. Gotcha. So I get there, there's nothing in the VIP. You know, I get, uh, I contact the people that's supposed to set it up and they like, yo, everything will be here in 20 minutes. An hour go by, nothing. Yo, what's up? Another hour go by, nothing. Four hours go by. There's no water, no cups. There's no nothing. I got 50 people downstairs. There's nothing down there. Gotcha. So I make a text in our, our like group chat. Like, and this is all the staff members. And I go, hey, I'm being honest with y'all. If I don't, if I don't get you no know, food or something down there, I'm I'm not battling. One of the members basically says chill the fuck out like shut up and rap damn like shut up and dribble no, no. i'm feeling all right i'll be honest i'm happy i'm disappointed um for multiple reasons. Uh, I'm very happy with the event as far as, if you was there, you had a nice time. Like if you was at the event, it was a dope turnout. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Craig Lamar so happy in his life. Uh, Ace Amin was happy, you know, Jazz, Reese was happy. Everybody got taken care of financially. The venue was amazing. Everything was amazing. It was an amazing experience. Um, only thing that I am sad is that people who paid for this didn't get to see not only a full card but they didn't even get to see the battles based on the streaming incident so that's kind of something that i'm bummed out about ownership 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 yeah. ownership um we've been hearing a lot of ownership talk you know what i'm saying uh the culture wants to own itself you know url talks ownership you know what i'm saying we talk ownership ownership see, is now, important so you got ownership and you got niggas want to own a slave shit mm. Some of these niggas want to own the slave shit. No, some of these niggas already got slave ships. Sheesh. I'm just keeping it real. Mm. That's no disrespect to no nobody directly, but it is what it is. And mm. we all know this. Everybody mm. knows this in the culture. Damn. Um, and then, you know, you got this event that's trying to free niggas. And niggas so slave that they kicking down the niggas that's trying to free niggas. Mm. But you know how our people, you know how it's been since the slavery days. A nigga that opened up the cage didn't get killed by a slave master. He got killed by niggas in the cage. Facts. So, you know, that's kind of <laughs> what we're dealing with. But as far as create for you ownership, my bag was so big, I now own a ship. Like an actual mm. yacht. Like I, I bought a yacht today. Yo, I, I, I know uh, you was on the spaces earlier today, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Chopping up with the fans and everything. Yeah. You guys got a lot of criticism. Yeah. Worst event. Da da da. The stream but was that's horrible. The once again, once again. You know. This the ain't the worst event. <laughs> it's been events way worse than this. Y'all forgot caffeine first stream? Twerking, uh, yeah, twerking. Uh, like, come on, my yeah, nigga. That shit was a little, that shit was shaky. Yeah, I remember. The stream niggas was horrible. Yeah, niggas was going crazy. And niggas was niggas choking. Niggas was mad at URL for caffeine. Yeah, I remember. Oh. Listen. I, like, I listen, forgot. We did forget. People have short-term memory in battle rap. Right. right. Caffeine <laughs> first stream was the worst ever. Yeah, ever. It was glitchy as hell. Yeah, It was right. glitchy as hell. On right. top of that, the right. battle rappers didn't even rap. They yeah. were choking and all type of shit. Yeah. So we, we but but once again we forget fast. So, bro, it's a trial and error. Shit happened. Now, a lot of people are saying, you know, daylight and bow or whatever. Like, first of all, y'all gonna take my name out of anything <laughs> in regards to refunds or anything. My nigga, I'm an artist. I got paid to rap three rounds and go home. All that daylight, where my I don't give a fuck where your money is. <laughs> Hit them niggas. Mm -hmm. I'm just keeping it real. I'm an artist. Okay? So, in regards to, like, refunds and all that, hit them niggas. Create for you. Not me. Create for you and Tay Rock Boy. You. Yeah. Um, but, like I said, um, and then as far as the pay-per-view goes, like, that had nothing to do with me or Bow. Like, and a lot of people saying, well, Culture Vultures came in. They didn't know what they was doing with the pay-per-view. Direct which is a 20-year veteran, 
and no, no, 30 year veteran in battle rap and probably like 10 years, 20, 15 years in understanding battle rap streaming. Direct took care of streaming and another party that was in cahoots with Direct to make sure the streaming was, you know, the back end side of it. Mm -hmm. So when y'all say like, like y'all threw the worst event and the streaming was fucked up, like the person who does streaming for Chrome 23 did streaming for this. Gotcha. It just, we had a technical hiccup. It happens. Gotcha. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, that's Fred. I hit Fred in a minute. You know, we trying to get this basketball game situated. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know squad outside. shit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up this we time, like. But, yeah, but going back to what I was yeah. saying, like, um, the stream had a technical difficulty. Um, So, what we was what we was seeing was in our group chat and amongst the, um, like, the people that was, like, hosting the shit, Everybody was saying the stream was working perfect on their end. But then for the fans, the stream wasn't working perfect. So there was like just a little hiccup in there. Then nobody knew what was really going on. So for that, like I said, I don't know what Create For You is going to do as of right now in regards to um, refunds and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure they're going to give refunds, but I don't know if they're going to be like, all right, the people who paid, you get a refund and then you get something extra because they're here to stay. They not, they're not running. No, they're not running. They're not you, um, Do you feel like, you know, the outrage uh, from the culture is deserved or do you feel like they're overreacting? Both. Okay. Um, It's deserved. But but once again, like, I, I told King Bao, like, this is happening because there's a lot of elements that's why this. One, two battles didn't happen. Facts. So that's already a hiccup. Like, you know, that's already a big hiccup. Like, twerk. They they wanted to see twerk. I ain't gonna lie, that a lot of people that was the battle they really came to see. They wanted to see twerk. Like a lot of people really wanted to see twerk. A lot of people really wanted to see T top. A lot of people really kind of like clean paper is the worst ever in regards to like knowing if he gonna show. But like his, I want to see him. Like I wanted to see the Not facts. As soon and, as I saw him on the card, Ness, I I I am an ultra fan of Ness. So two battles not happening was already a like what the fuck. You right, yeah. So two battles not happening, and then not being able to see the other two battles, and only seeing Craig Lamar and Ace Amin, I would be in a frenzy too if I spent thirty bucks. Mm. And then um, pulling up, in the beginning, you know, I was like, damn, it's, it's not enough people here yet. You know, it's not that line that we yeah, normally it was, see. It was, it was, it most definitely was kind of weird in the beginning. Like in the beginning, uh, yeah. Because I, I, at the at, at the end of the night, I could say that we had a crowd. Yeah, it was packed. Yeah, you packed know what I'm saying. Up. But we, that's what I was saying. We, we Where had did good, people come from? Like, yeah, nah, niggas came out of nowhere. I don't know. Niggas, they probably just started letting niggas in. Like, Yo, pull up, man. Battle rap. No, but those was like, <laughs> nah, 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 like, facts. So I don't know if I don't know if niggas, like, you know what I think? I'm gonna be honest. For some odd reason, the flyers and the promo didn't reach LA's algorithm. It didn't reach the algorithm out here. So I think words start getting around in the streets. Like, yo, you know it's a battle happening downtown. And by the time me and Bow start battling, yeah. mad niggas pulled up. Because it went, like, I ain't going to lie. When I was watching Jazz and Reese, I'm like, it's about five people in there. <laughs> right? It's about eight or nine people in there. Then, you know, by the time I got to the stage and I looked at the crowd, I said, hey, it's kind of packed. Yeah, niggas pulled up. Okay. But, but I don't know where they came from. So, like I said, maybe word got around on the street that there was a, a, a battle rap event happening and niggas pulled up. But, um, like I said, man, it, it was a, to me, it was a very fun night. But before we, we get to the battles, it was almost a point where you almost didn't battle. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I left. I was leaving. The we building. was all, I ain't gonna lie. At that point, I said, oh, no. Here we go. Is Daylight this, clapped that shit up again. I was like, if Daylight leaves? This it's shit over. is over. It's These over. niggas is never doing an cooked. event again. If I'd have left, they would have been cooked. <laughs> They'd have been cooked at a level of un un like yeah, un yeah. uncookable. No now, um, um, rumors was somebody said something to all you. Right, so I I kind of break it down behind the scenes. I, I give y'all the full detail interview so y'all can understand what happened. Okay. I won't give no names, but I tell y'all what happened. Okay. So um, you know, I had a writer and my writer. I don't know if y'all know what a writer is, but the writer is pretty much like your list of. Uh, your condiments, your food, your snacks, and all the stuff you need for your guests that should be in your VIP before you get there. Okay. So my stuff was supposed to be there before I got to the venue. 
Like it's supposed to be there when you get there. Um, and one of these things is that's supposed to happen when you are an artist because you're supposed to be comfortable, like super comfortable so that you can perform optimal. Gotcha. So I get there, there's nothing in the VIP. You know, I get, uh, I contact the people that's supposed to set it up and they like, yo, everything will be here in 20 minutes. An hour go by, nothing. Yo, what's up? Another hour go by, nothing. Four hours go by. There's no water, no cups. There's no nothing. I got 50 people downstairs. There's nothing down there. Gotcha. So I make a text in our, our like group chat. Like, and this is all the staff members. And I go, hey, I'm being honest with y'all. If I don't, if I don't get you no know, food or something down there, I'm I'm not battling. One of the members basically says, chill the fuck out, like shut up and rap. Damn. Like shut up and dribble. Shut up and like my nigga, like oh, you, <laughs> yeah. you feel where yeah, I'm coming yeah, like, no, on no, some I, Donald I, Sterling yeah, type yeah, shit. Like, like what? Shut up and rap. So like as a, a black man with a face tattoo that clearly shows this community and country, I don't play by the rules of this country. Yeah. My brain automatically said, this nigga speaking from a slave master. Like, my voice heard, shut up and rap, nigga. Like, that's what my brain just <laughs> I heard. Imagine. I'm out. And the reason why I said I'm out, because my brain said, go upstairs and find him. Mm. So I went upstairs before I went out. I went upstairs and then they was like, he's not even here. He's in Boston or some shit. So I was like, all right. They like, just leave before you do something that you're going to regret later. Right? And I haven't been in that type of space in years. Right? Gotcha. And I'm like, yo, like, okay, I get outside. I'm about to leave. You know, my mom's, my mom's talked to me like, yo, day, like everybody here to see you. You know what I mean? Like, you can't let, like, and my mom said, my mom said some wild shit, bro. She like, you a beacon of light. Like, we can't let, like, something like a dark scenario, like, fuck up this shit. These people here to hear what you got to say. All that shit punch called me. Like, mm. a lot of people just was like, nah, bro. Like, you do it for the people. Fuck him. Fuck everybody else. Do it for the people. And then I was like, fuck the people. I'm going to just be honest. I was like, fuck the people. And then... Uh, I looked at my mom's bag because my mom had the rest of my deposit in her bag. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I want to get that back. <laughs> All right, I'm going back in the venue. Right? So I went back in there and I cooked. But yeah, but that's pretty much what. Okay, what, okay. You know, non-black person just telling me shut up and rap. That, that ain't sit too well with me. And to the nigga who said it, we're just going to have a nice, friendly conversation about that. In person. Got you, got you. Yeah. Moving forward, um, I had to say it was a pleasure meeting your family. Oh yeah, my family lit. Yeah, I saw your mom with your yeah, sister. My mom's, my sister, your my pops. Son, my pops yeah, had the hat on. Yeah, yeah. I, nah, I met you. Yeah. I was like, your pop, OG smooth. Yeah. I was like, hold yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Nah, fam was out. Fam was out. You know what was dope about this event? This event, um, I, I, cause I normally don't. When I do my battle rap shit, I normally don't invite certain people because I keep my battle rap shit, my battle rap shit. But this time around, I was like. I got my friends that I grew up playing basketball with. I got niggas I grew up I skateboarded with. I got niggas that I rap with. I got niggas that I do dog breeding and shit with. Yeah. And I brought everybody and there. Your team and shit. Your my team was there. Yeah. My room full of mirrors was yep, there. Yep. My family was there. And I was like, yo, I brought everybody from all my walks of life Dope. here. And to see them all like mingling with each other, meeting each other and talking to each other. I was just sitting backstage like, yo, this shit is dope, bro. This shit is dope. The event was dope. This is a dope event. And I see I see a bright future. Like a real bright future.